reasons to doubt Try to keep me down But I'll put the flame out You can't get to me Throw your sticks and your stones Go break all of my bones You won't ache my soul You can't get to me And there is no Today I'm doing something I've been wanting to do since I got this bike, which is uh, pack it up with some stuff, ride out to somewhere beautiful, and just fucking disappear. So I threw some shit in a bag, and I took it up to Sedona. My original plan was to go to uh, Schnebly Hill Road and ride that up top to Schnebly Hill and then stay up there. But what I didn't account for was that there'd be snow. This isn't good. How is it unsafe for travel? You're telling me I gotta go all the way back to the fucking highway? But there's way too much snow, and I'm thinking that's why the sign said it was uh, it was unsafe for travel, because you can't see it. I was hoping to camp up here, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. So the bottom of the road was closed, and the top of the road was closed. So I had to kind of abandon that plan. And so I came out here. I'm not sure if this is technically still Sedona, but it's, um, I guess southwest of Sedona, maybe just west. And uh, I didn't just come out here to camp, I, I kind of had a mission. There was, uh, there's two spots I wanted to go check out um, for hiking and backpacking. Unfortunately, one of those places was basically in Flagstaff, where the snow up there is gonna be probably the same as what was on Schnepley Hill. I know there's a lot of camping spots out here, I just hope it's not real busy. Oh yeah, it looks good. Back away from everybody because I'm gonna be talking to myself and that's important. Yeah, all of that is pretty much just camera gear. I was actually hoping for something more remote than this. So, let me go do a little bit more scouting. See if there's anything in the area that I could, I could probably go instead of this. So I've been camping and shit since I was probably like 12. Started doing it in scouts, and boy scouts. <clears throat> And overall, that experience was pretty civilized, but the thing that I remember the most that I enjoyed was uh, the exploration aspect. Like, we weren't really in any remote places, but I really enjoyed going out at night and like following hiking trails and shit, because I felt like I was exploring, you know, it was exciting. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna move here. I love that exploration aspect of it. And that's really what kind of stayed with me. I always wanted to keep that same spirit. And so the way that I generally prefer to camp is really just kind of to throw the minimum that I need in a, in a bag. So that's what I'm doing today. Shouldn't have fucking undone this. The problem with it is that typically when you go out camping or whatever, you know, you bring your car and your cooler, your beer, your firewood and your buddies and like, it's a party, you know? But when you do it this way, can't bring all that stuff. Maybe your buddies if they're into this stupid shit. So the question is, what do you do? What do you do all day when you're out here? Because honestly, it's pretty boring if you don't have something planned to be doing. And you know, I plan on filming the shit. So once I get set up, walk around and film things. All right, so let's go through this bag. Got your gat. Can't go anywhere without that. Got some camera gear. Got one pair of socks. It's the only clothing I brought. Other than the hat and everything. Uh, lantern light. More camera gear. More camera gear. Tent. A mug. An air pump. Fire and cooking supplies. And then in the bottom here, you got a first aid kit. Got tent poles, camera gear, and a shitty Mexican balsam blanket. All right, so let's find a good spot to put this tent. <sighs> Pretty sure I got all the cat pee off of this. This thing went from like five pounds to probably fucking 60 pounds once it was wet. And it took two weeks to dry. And that's not an exaggeration. It seemed like the outside was dry, right? Well, the inside hadn't dried yet. This material is very 
water resistant and I think what was happening was there was moisture on the inside but it wasn't evaporating. All right, where's my food? I'm gonna go to town and pick up some liquor because probably just about the only thing I forgot. You know what I gotta do? Let me get a picture of this. So if you haven't figured it out already, I have an Instagram and I post cool pictures and shit on it. Push me down to the ground. What goes around comes around. You won't put the flame out. You can't get to me. Say what you want to say. Go take it all away. But I'm here to stay. No, you can't get to me. And there is no Got me some Jameson. I gotta show you what I got. So I got these because these things are fucking delicious. And if you're gonna drink, you gotta have a snack. And then Jameson. Everything a growing boy needs. Well, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go cruise, check out more of the area, maybe scope some places I wanna film tomorrow. What the fuck is a FedEx truck doing out here? This place is beautiful and so is Flagstaff, but you can't really live in those places because there's no jobs. There's no real jobs. I mean, I guess if you're a teacher or something, you could probably find a spot, but when you're stuck in the valley of Phoenix and all the, all the surrounding towns, and you gotta come up and like commute to these places for the recreation. I wasn't looking forward to my ride this morning. I don't like riding this bike long distance. I think I'd rather be on a sport bike. I'm not saying something. These guys are all camping. Fucking campers though. I don't know, man. I guess maybe someday I'll be old and I'll think that's cool. But right now, I don't think that's cool at all. Isn't the whole point to rough it? To get out in these mountains and just let yourself be absorbed? Isn't that the point? I guess you can be absorbed by the nature and live in a trailer. Plus, like, the whole buying one and then, like, towing that son of a bitch just seems like a nightmare. I don't know where I'm going, but this road's long. I wonder how close you can get to these cliffs. Ruins? Oh, I'm going this way. There's ruins over here. I gotta come back here tomorrow. Caretakers on site. Oh, it's only open from 9.30 to 3. I could probably be here at 9.30 tomorrow morning. That's interesting though. I'll, I'll see. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow. Give me reasons to doubt. Try to keep me down. But I'll put the flame out. You can't get to me. Throw your sticks and your stones. Go break all the...